Let us solve two beautiful questions. See here, 5 kV 25 single phase transformer, copper losses they have given, HT losses they have given, AD current losses they have given at full load output. At full load output. If this transformer is operated on 10 kV 50 H, 10 kV 50 H supply system, what will be these losses if rated current in the windings remain same? First thing I have to tell you, because in the exam, like you know, we cannot fight with anybody. But in the interview, yes. For example, if rated voltage is 5 kV, 5 kV, how can we supply 10 kV? Okay, if rated supply voltage is 5 kV, if I supply more than rated voltage, that to double the rated voltage, definitely dielectric failure will happen, insulation will fail. Okay, but in the exam, we cannot ask questions like that or we cannot fight. So in the exam, what we have to see, how to solve the problem given. Okay, now 5 kV 25H machine is being now tested at 10 kV 50H, means that voltage is doubled and frequency is also doubled. So, VBF ratio remain constant, means that flux density remain constant, okay. Now, let us see here, in the first case, 5 kV 25H, 2, to the second case, 10 kV 50H, okay. Now, in the first case, copper losses are 1.4%. And uh, hysteresis losses 0.6 percent, and AD current losses 0.5 percent. Okay, how these losses are going to vary from here to here, provided current in the windings remain same. Current in the windings remain same. Now, let me like you know tickle your mind. See here, copper losses are 1.4 percent. Current is same, so copper losses should be same. Okay, so the new copper losses, new copper losses equal to 0.7 percent. Okay, copper losses are same, but percentage of copper losses will change. Okay, now it means at the end I will tell you how I have done these calculations. I will simplify for sure. Now hysteresis losses, hysteresis losses V by F ratio is maintained constant. V by F ratio is maintained constant in this sense, B max is going to be constant. Now, what is hysteresis loss? Hysteresis loss directly proportional to B max to the power of X into F. Now, B max is maintained constant, so directly proportional to frequency. Now, if frequency from 25H to 50H, frequency is double, so hysteresis losses should be double. So, though, so now my new hysteresis loss is going to be 0.6%. Now, AD current class, AD current class independent of frequency directly proportional voltage square. Okay. Now, my voltage is double. My voltage is double. If my voltage is double, my AD current classes should be increased by four times. So, my new AD current classes will be one person. Okay. Confused, right? Now, let us uh, try to understand. See, this is 5 kV with line current constant and this is 10 kV, 10 kV with line current of constant. So, what is happening from here to here, rated capacity is getting doubled. What is rated kVA capacity? Now, voltage multiplied by current. Voltage is doubled, current is remains same. Means that, means here my rated capacity is doubled. Okay. If rated capacity is doubled, Though copper losses are same, percentage of rated uh, copper losses will be half. Okay. Let me tell you in another way. For example, today my income is 100 rupees. Okay. Out of my today's income, if I spend 20 rupees. Okay. So, how much percentage of my income is being wasted today? 20 percent. Now, tomorrow my income is double 200 rupees. Okay, so my income is doubled tomorrow. Tomorrow my income is 200 rupees. And tomorrow also if I spend 20 rupees only, how much percentage of my income is being wasted? 10% only. Okay, so today it is 100 rupees. For 100 rupees, like you know, 20%, 20 rupees I wasted. And tomorrow my income is going to be doubled, 200 rupees. In 200 rupees also, I'm going to spend the same amount, but it, it became 10%, no? 
okay so that way we have to think anyway if you want uh, calculations like you know for example let me consider let this consider as one ampere in both cases okay so this will become 5 kva this will become 10 kva okay now let me think of copper loss in watts in watts is going to be 1.4 percent is given so 1.4 percent of 5000 of 5000 rated capacity so is going to be how much is going to be 70 watts okay now if you see copper losses if you see copper losses the moment currents are same copper losses will become same so the same 70 watts will be there here also so let me think of copper losses in percent in percent in percent is going to be how much 70 watts okay out of 10,000 kV out of rated capacity is 10,000 divided by 10,000 into 100 percent is going to be 0.7 percent so here 1.4 percent became 0.7 percent or not yes now let me think of hysteresis loss hysteresis loss here is going to be 0.6 percent so 0.6 by 100 into 5000 okay so this is going to be 30 watt 30 watt now from here to here from here to here new hysteresis loss okay so from here to here v by f ratio is maintained constant v max is constant so directly proportional to frequency so as yes, the frequency is doubled from here to here hysteresis losses has to be doubled so this is going to be 60 watt here it is 30 so it will be 60 divided by 10,000 into 100 percent is going to be 0.6 percent okay so if you want calculation wise you can do this way similarly eddy current losses also can be calculated okay now coming to the next question this is old gate question 50 hz transformer having equal hysteresis and eddy current loss at rated excitation is operated at 45 hz at 90 percent of rated voltage compared to rated operating point the core loss under this condition okay now in this problem basically in gate questions like you know most of the times we need not like you know directly solve okay first let me conclude directly the answer then i will write some steps okay now a 50 hz transformer at rated voltage now is being operated at 45 h at 90 percent of rated voltage means that v by f ratio is maintained constant voltage is reduced by 10 percent and frequency also is reduced by 10 percent so v by f ratio is constant so b max is going to be constant now what is hysteresis loss hysteresis loss directly proportional to b max to the power of x into f so b max is constant so directly proportional to frequency frequency is reduced by 10 percent 10 percent so hysteresis loss should be reduced by 10 percent now let us think of eddy current loss eddy current loss are independent of frequency okay so eddy current loss are independent of frequency depending upon the only voltage now voltage is reduced by 10 percent so means if i supply 90 percent of rated voltage eddy current loss is directly proportional voltage square so 0.9 square is going to be 0.81 or 81 percent so 19 percent reduction will be there in eddy current so conclusion is 10 percent reduction in hysteresis loss 19 percent reduction in eddy current loss so combination should be between 10 and 19 okay so reduce by 10 percent no because hysteresis loss will be reduced by 10 percent reduce by 19 percent no why because eddy current losses will be reduced by 19 not combination reduced by 14.5 yes remain unchanged is wrong remain unchanged is wrong so reduce by 14.5 percent is right is right okay now let us try to solve the question let us try to solve the question at 50 h equal hysteresis and eddy current losses he say so in the first case at rated at rated conditions okay so at rated conditions like you know hysteresis loss equal to eddy current loss equal to x so what about the total core loss is going to be 2x okay now at 90 percent at 90 percent of sorry 
of V rated and F rated. F rated. Okay. So hysteresis loss. Mu. Okay. V by F ratio is maintained constant and uh, B max is maintained constant. So hysteresis loss is directly proportional to frequency. Frequency is reduced to 10% or reduced by 90%. So this is going to be 0.9x compared to previous x. Now, eddy current losses. Eddy current losses. Voltage is reduced to 90%. So, 90% square is going to be 0.81x. So, what about my total core loss here? Total core loss here equal to 0.9 plus 0.81 into x. Okay. So, this is going to be 1.71x. Now, what is percentage reduction? Percentage reduction is going to be original 2x minus 1.71x. So 2x minus 1.71x divided by 2x into 100%, which will give you 14.5%. Okay.